by Altides, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Hi everyone, I hope you are looking forward to the holiday season. It's time to do the nails again and celebrate with nail art. Yes, one hand has longer nails than the other. It's a little bit disappointing because I do like for my nails to be the same length on both hands, but I cannot neglect the right hand because the nails are shorter. I have to celebrate the right hand just as much as I celebrate the left hand. So. We are going to start off by decorating the left because I do favor my longer nails and I like to really focus on them. So I'm a little partial, but I love both of my hands equally. Okay. Hands, I love you. So we're starting out with Nail Perfector. This is the tip perfector of the Naked Manicure line. It is a sheer white. So it is going to take several layers in order to get an opaqueness. I need it to be opaque enough so that when I lay down the nail stickers, the nail stickers really pop and you're not distracted by the outline of my nails. So I'm going to do several layers. In the meantime, while I paint these these layers, I'd like to just talk about what I love about the holiday season. Christmas time of year is my favorite time of year because people are their most wonderful selves during Christmas. Christmas is a time to celebrate the birth of Christ. It is a focus on goodwill towards man. So that is when people pull out their best behavior, their best manners, um, their good cheer. And I really enjoy people's personalities so much around this time of year. And I love the generosity that comes out of people during this time. This is a time to show people how much you care, that you have thought about them all year long in the most special way, and you reward them with maybe a lovely gift or just your presence or some delicious dish that you know how to make really well. Um, it's really nice to celebrate each other during this time and find a way to show gratitude and appreciation for the beautiful souls in your life. And it's a time for grace and mercy and generosity and charity. So this season just brings out a wealth of wonderful and beautiful nature that mankind has to offer. It looks now like I'm at about uh, maybe the third layer and I'm starting to get the opaque look that I want out of the nails. Uh, once I finish all of the layers of the tip perfector, because this is from the Naked Manicure set that gives you that beautiful like natural manicure, French manicure look, but I'm just using the white because it's going to be my background for the nail art. And I picked up some really pretty metallic gold nail stickers, Christmas themed nail stickers, and they're in a very soft rose gold. Now that rose gold may not come across in the video footage, but just know that it is rose gold and you probably will just see the metallic shine. However, the rosiness may not show up as well, but just know it is rose. So it's a pretty rose gold sitting on top of a soft white background. And it has a beautiful and classic effect. It's a really nice, modern, and elegant take on Christmas art for your nails. Because sometimes some of the you know, bright greens and reds can be a bit overwhelming but the soft pink and white is just a very subtle low-key celebration of the Christmas season on your nails so it will be appropriate in any setting and all the nails are done I'm gonna give my nails a top coat of Seche Vite before I start applying the nail art and you know Seche Vite is my favorite top coat. It dries quickly and it just creates this wonderful strong layer that coats over all of the polish that you put on and protects your nails really well. 
So this color has come across really nicely. It's taken several coats, but I finally have it. This is going to be the final layer because it really has given me some really great coverage. And the nails look so pretty just with the tip perfector. I haven't even started any decorating with the nail stickers and I'm so tempted to just leave my nails like this for a while before I start doing the stickers but for the sake of completing the task and sharing my fun nail art with you I'm going to decorate them after I'm done with all of these layers So I'll definitely give these nails a chance to dry just for a minute or two and then I'll apply some sachet vite and that takes no time to dry and then I'll start applying the stickers. So I found this really cute sticker and it says we wish you a Merry Christmas. One of the most classic greetings for the Christmas holiday. And it's in the shape of a Christmas tree. And it has that beautiful star at the top. Just like when you decorate your own Christmas tree and you put that either the angel or the star at the top. And it covers the whole thumbnail because it's such a long nail. And this is what it looks like. Laid down and it's, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to put some glitter nail polish for my accent nail. Only a little bit of glitter comes out at a time, so I'm gonna need to let it dry and then come back to it in between applying stickers. And I found this cute little snowman and it fits just right on my pinky. I couldn't resist that snowman, it was so cute. So here's another layer of the glitter. And I'm gonna to try to apply enough glitter so that there's not that much negative space, but I'm not gonna completely coat the nail with the glitter because there's little teeny tiny glitters in between the big glitter that actually has some really nice illumination to it. So I kinda of wanna show that off and not clump it up with a whole lot of glitter. So I had a little mishap with the thumbnail not even so much a mishap, it's just that the sticker wasn't sticking. It started peeling up and that's just not going to work. So I had to take it off and start reapplying the layers and layers of polish on my thumbnail. So in between adding stickers, I'm going to have to keep applying the tip perfector onto my thumbnail until I get it um, enough of the layers to give it that opaque color. So in between that, I'll add stickers. So I just added a snowflake sticker to my middle fingernail. So I'm gonna do two to fill up most of the nail. I'm not gonna leave that much negative space. I really wanna show off those snowflakes. Snowflakes are one of the prettiest things about winter, watching the snowfall. Hopefully it's a day off from work so you can look out the window and enjoy it without having to travel in it. It's not so fun to travel in the snow, but it's beautiful and fun to look at the snow. So here's layer number two, my labor of love. When you have to start over on a nail that you had already labored over, it can be, you know, a kind of annoying, but if you want your nails to come out nice, you gotta have patience. So here I am going for another sticker. I found these cute little, uh, like, you know the song, Silver Bells. Well, these bells ain't silver, they're rose gold. But look how cute, some pretty little rose gold bells. They're like the ornaments that you put on your Christmas tree. So I have enough room on my index finger to apply two of them. So I'm going to put two and they'll be kind of like, you know, the way you decorate a Christmas tree. I'm decorating my nails. You do have to be a little aggressive with these stickers. 
the sticker doesn't always want to stick and in those instances you have to start all over which can be a hassle and that's the reason that I say you really need to be in the mood to do your nails especially when you're going to decorate them because it takes patience and sometimes the first time is not the charm and you have to do it over so you take a moment and you woosah and you get your tweezer and you go in for another sticker. All right, this time, the stickers that I choose will work out perfectly because I'm not doing that again. But look, everything's coming out nice. I just need to touch up a little bit of polish just around the cuticle area on my middle finger because it the color just wasn't saturated enough. I'm a perfectionist. I have to get it right because I'm going to be looking down at these nails for inspiration and for joy. So it's got to be done right. Cute, 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 cute. All right, so now I need to find some stickers for the thumbnail. I'm thinking that I want to find a deer. They have some really cute deer stickers on here. And they have an assortment of deer, so I'm going to find the one that I like the best to showcase on one of my longest fingernails. And this is a deer that he just seems like he happened to hear a sound in the forest and he looked up. And he looked up in your direction. And there was a moment where he just was still. And as he stands there, still looking, you get to see how beautiful that deer is. And you're far enough away that he's not afraid, so he holds still long enough for you to really stare at him. I just had to readjust, readjust this sticker so um, it lines up nicely with the sticker I put below, which says, let it snow. Coming across a deer in the snow must be such a beautiful sight. It's never happened to me, but I can imagine it must be really nice to come across a beautiful deer walking in the snow. Well, here's the finished complete look on both hands. So that deer and let it snow came out really nice. Got the little silver bells and the snowflakes and the accent nail and that little snowman on the pinky. So cute. Look at that. I get to enjoy some beautiful nail art for the holiday season. And on the right hand with the shorter nails, still very cute. Very cute. I picked a deer for the index finger. It's just the deer head with the antlers, and that's really pretty. And I found one really big snowflake for the thumb. I've got the accent nail going on, and I have a leaping deer on the pinky. You'll probably see the distinctive images better in the still shot at the end. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Bye for now.